What's up, man? What's up, man? Where's your helmet? My helmet? <laughs> I don't need no helmet. I don't need no helmet. I think I need a helmet. Shit. Need a helmet, man. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Cybervolt here. How's it going? I have a helmet that's trying to choke me half to death. Whew. It's getting cold. It's getting colder now. Damn it. I haven't been riding for like two weeks. This is like going on week three. Um, we're using the Sherman today. We're gonna retrain ourselves how to ride electric unicycles from the very start, from the very start. So join me guys as we relearn how to ride electric unicycles. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna go back to the place where we first learned. So let's, let's do this. And we're gonna go up a hill without pads for the first time. Ooh. Look at where we're at. This is where we first started. Right here. Let's get started. Uh, the sun's shining over here, so we want the camera right over here, right? Okay. Hello, everybody. We're back. Good morning. <clears throat> so I've been riding electric unicycles for about two years. You've probably seen in my last video that I was kind of ranting off a bit about basically my journey buying all these electric unicycles but not really mastering my wheels. That's what I want to do now. Uh, the Veteran Sherman is my main wheel. Um, this is the wheel I have more experience with. Uh, the Bigode Hero High Speed is my suspension wheel which I am getting a lot more comfortable with. Um, but I've been very reliant on pads, uh, accessories and everything. Uh, I just need to, you know, master my wheels. But I'm gonna retrain myself. I, I haven't, like I said, been riding for three, three weeks now. Haven't been riding really much uh, the past couple of months. So the first thing what we're gonna do guys is we're just gonna get used to balancing this electric unicycle on one leg, our, our dominant leg. And I'm gonna do this on my right side. Uh, I might go on my left side, but I'm just gonna try balancing this on my leg. Just get used to the weight, get used to balancing it without pads on there. In my foot positioning, I have my heel kind of slightly on the back of the pedal. Rotate this electric unicycle on one leg, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do this like a few times. The reason being is you got to get used to the shifting of the weight of the electric unicycle. You're going to feel like a lot of hip pressure, at least I am. So I'm just going to kind of easily bring it around and around like this. I'll land my foot on first. Watch, and then you're gonna notice the electric unicycle is gonna snap right onto your leg after you have that weight applied right there. You know what I'm saying? And that weight is what's gonna help you kind of keep the electric unicycle on your leg. And then I'm gonna do it with my other leg. You don't have to do this, but for me, I, I wanna kind of exercise my other leg I'm gonna use my not dominant leg and I'll show you how hard it is. Okay, so I have it. I'm just gonna stand here. Again, this is not my dominant leg. I'm just gonna keep it right there just for a little bit, just get the feel of it. Maybe I'll press down, maybe I'll flop it. And then I'm gonna try to, whoops, see? This side isn't dominant. Whoa. Definitely not dominant. Whoa. So do that for a few times on your dominant leg and then you'll get it. Every time I freaking bend down, my pants come down. <laughs> if I only had an ass to keep my pants up. Son of a bitch. And I'm actually gonna now pivot in one place Pivot in one place. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Ooh, the sun's coming out and it's not so cold now. And I'm getting dizzy going around in circles. Yep. 
You're doing a good job, man. Keep up the good work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna get on the electric unicycle. I'm gonna find something to hold on to. And I'm going to step up and step down. Step up, step down with the assistance. It's gonna be kind of weird for your first time. You're not gonna probably feel confident and you might lose balance. So just to let you know that I'm with you guys, let's use my not so dominant leg and let's see how cocky we are. Woo. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of doing like side steps now I'm getting used to stepping off stepping on with assistance okay I think that's good so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna practice um, pendulums getting the feel of being on the electric unicycle just feel what it feels like you're think of pressing down on the pedals in the front with your heels I mean with your toe and letting your chest kind of lean in. So this is the lean in, that's what gives you acceleration. Um, the pendulum that goes back is your, your butt's kind of in, your shoulder blades are kind of back, and you're focusing more on your heels, like that. So this is like that. I gotta say, it's kind of, I got Velcro on the side, so I was grabbing on my shin guards, so it's not slippery. Anyways, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. I'm gonna look up, back, forward. Don't do this too much and don't put too much pressure because you might risk overheating uh, the board if you do that too much. You might, I don't know, you might get a cutout if you're really hard at it. A few pendulums, front, back. Just, you know, know what muscle groups work. Braking and acceleration. So the next thing you wanna do is, again, with a pole. I think it's best with a pole because you don't have more chances to grab onto something. This is your lifeline. And what we're gonna do is I would just recommend kind of bending your knees a little bit. And I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit. I'm kind of gonna relax myself on my electric unicycle. And I'm just going to go for it, guys. I'm just gonna go forward like this. And just launch off. I'll come back in the shot. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Doing a good job, Ready? man. I'm gonna do it again. Keep up the good work, buddy. Oh, what's up again, man? <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Okay. So, do that a few times until you get it. What you wanna do is find a point from point A to point B to take you to a place where you wanna go. If you can master that short amount of distance, you can master anything. Just keep at it, keep practicing, okay? Now, once you feel like you can reach a destination without losing balance, uh, let's say, for example, I'm trying to go to this pole to the middle of, between these poles, okay? Learn to lean back and stop. Turn around. And then get back to the destination, get used to trolleying with your leg. Get back on it, launch off, lean back to stop, land your foot down, trolley back with one leg and repeat that a few times. And then keep practicing launch offs and you should be good. Here's the part where this is gonna get kind of tricky and I'm gonna change my camera angle for this, ladies and gentlemen. So let me show you. Okay. 
And just what I just showed you looks easy, but it's really hard in the beginning. And just keep your balance. Try to go straight at first, okay? And then when you're ready to stop, lean back. Forward, back. Now with turning, turning's a little different and that's hard to convey through video. I don't know how I'm gonna show you that through video, but I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you guys through it um, while I am riding, okay? So you learned how to step on, step off. Now you might see it, find yourself going like this, and that's fine because that's your body showing you that it is learning how to balance. Look at where you're going. Basically just shift your weight in the direction you want to go, but don't do it too much. You just kind of have to feel for it by looking where you're going. What we're gonna do is practice figure eights. I'm gonna to try to put a visionary, uh, imaginary figure eight in this parking lot. So figure eights is basically a radius that changes uh, at the center of a turn. So I'm going left, and then now I'm gonna focus on going right. And then I'm gonna go left. And right. And left. Like I said, I'm a little rusty, very rusty, because I'm used to using pads. I have that security with pads. I always know where my legs are and how to control the wheel with the pads, but not so good without the pads. Hey, right, I should be wearing my helmet, by the way. So guys, don't try to go so fast at once, at first, I mean, just take it slow, get used to your electric unicycle, but now you want to learn how to do your turns, you want to kind of stay away from traffic, stay in a nice open area without a lot of traffic, I'm just going to do small weaves, So it's a practice, you know what I mean? You just gotta practice. Okay. And try to get familiar. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep accelerating and braking every so often just to get that down at a certain speed. That's what I'm doing right now. Looks kind of weird, but practice makes perfect, my friends. Bent with your ass out a little bit. Get used to that. Because you're going to be doing a lot of bending at the knees. You might see a lot of racers who ride electric unicycles doing that. In some ways, you're lowering your, your center of gravity a little bit. Bumps, you know, kind of bend down. Get used to riding straight. That's what I is going to do. Oh, man. Now I have a no. I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. But this is where the crucial training comes in right now. Because this is where you might actually say to yourself, oh, I feel good. I feel really damn good. And that's fine. You might even start making some YouTube videos like me and be like, wow, electric unicycles are awesome, man. You know, that's good. Make those videos, guys. Oh, shit. My tripod mount is coming apart. Just want to kind of speed and then brake a little bit. It's a lot easier without pads though, I gotta tell you.
we're gonna wrap this video up pretty soon guys it's all about retraining ourselves getting better the more you practice the better you get obviously this is something that you probably won't get in one day but you know you'll get it look at that my tripod mount came off and this came off before Ugh. is that a stick in your pocket or is it just because you're happy i would say i would say i'm happy i'm happy baby so i can't use a tripod now motherfucker good thing we used it while we could all right we're gonna try to keep our try to keep a wide stance here and then try to go into turns a little bit it's a little bit of a bump there you know little tiny baby bumps get used to that <laughs> well we are rusty as all funk up in here all right oh stairs i think we're ready for stairs no not yet okay <laughs> shut up crows i said shut your face oh i'm still here I'm still here. I'm still recording. I didn't go anywhere. So, I think to close this out is to say that, you know, I love electric unicycles, guys, but I do not like buying them anymore. And that's what I meant to say in the last video. I just don't like buying them if I'm not good at what I have already. And I have buyer's regret buying all the wheels I had. Um, but it's been an experience and this is how I'm going to take it is, you know, I've, I was probably maybe able to help somebody out there on YouTube who are interested in certain wheels, wheels that came from my own money. And, you know, hopefully you guys were able to make the right decision for yourselves when choosing a wheel. Um, but for me, I'm not going to go chase the hype anymore. I think that's wrong in my case. So the moral of the story, and I said it in the last video, <laughs> master your wheel, guys. Master your wheel. Another thing too is don't compare yourselves to other riders. Don't compare yourself to other riders, especially on YouTube or riders who have like more experienced than you because these people probably are more extreme than you these people are probably riding more than you and they have earned their stripes they have earned their war wounds don't you know try to learn from them and not emulate them find your own style find your own training program that will work for you you know focus on the things that you need to work on and that's all I gotta say, you know? And we're always learning. We're always learning with these things. Always. So, I think that's about it for this video, my friends. I think that's about it. You know, to tell you the truth, originally, I was gonna bring my M10 for this and learn with the M10, but that's all right. Sherman's my baby. 